Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Dahul. Today we will tackle a popular coding problem often asked in interviews merging two sorted arrays without extra space. We will break it down step by step and then look at a concise Java solution using inbuilt methods. By the end of this video, you will not only understand the problem but also learn a clean and efficient way to solve it. So, let's dive right in. Here is the problem statement. We are given two sorted arrays A and B of size N and M. Our task is to merge these two arrays so that first N elements after merging should reside in A. The last M elements after merging should reside in B. So if you check this example, you will get to know how we have to do. So let's jump into the code. Here we have the function merge arrays and to input arrays A and B. First we need to calculate the length of the two arrays n and m int a dot length and m equal to b dot length next we need to create a new array for merged which will be the combined size of n and m so it will be a temporary array you know to store all the elements from both a and b this array will help us sort the sort and split the elements back into a and b later now we will use the System dot array copy method, which is the inbuilt Java method, to efficiently copy elements from one array to another. System dot array copy a zero most. Zero n like that we have to do for second array here the first call copies all elements from a into the first 10 positions of merged system dot array copy zero merged n m at this point merged contains all elements from both sides means both arrays now we have to sort this merged array we will use arrays dot sort with the arrays dot sort we we can um, sort all the elements in this array next we need to copy the first n elements of the sorted merged array back into a same we will use system dot array copy merged zero a zero and sorry like that we have to do for b
और एक कॉपी मस्ट एन बी जीरो एम सो दैट सेट सॉर्ट आउट एवरीथिंग एंड स्टोर्ड बैक इन टू द ए एन बी here is working so here we done first combine both arrays into a single temporary array then we sorted the combined array after that we split the sorted elements back into a and b so when it's come to time complexity first we took big of n plus m time in order to copying elements then to sort these elements we took big of n plus m log n plus m then we need we copied it back so same big of n plus m so total time complexity is big of n plus m log n plus m when it comes to space complexity since we use a temporary array most of size n plus m the space complexity is big of n plus m that's it for today's video i hope this explanation was clear and easy to follow if you enjoyed this tutorial or found it helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share it with your fellow programmers let me know in comments if there is a specific problem or topic you like me to cover next thanks for watching and happy coding see you in next video